Hello and welcome to the first episode of Chubby Munchkin Studio. Today, we're going to make a Studio Ghibli inspired diorama. To get started, we need a container, a figure, a styrofoam, and a knife. First, I'm trimming down the foam so it can fit in the container and make sure I can close the lid. I try to save some space between the top of the foam and the lid because we will put a layer of plaster and vegetation on top. I'm making a hole in the middle. This will be where I will put Totoro and May's figure. Just give me a second. I like to work on the transparent cutting sheet. It's easier to clean up. I got mine from Dollar Store. It comes with a pack of two. I'm cutting open a path, so we can see the diorama, not only from the above, but also from the front. Just kidding. To make it look like a cave with rock, I'm shaving off some edges, creating irregular wall shapes. It's okay even if the wall is too thin, because we're going to put plaster outside the styrofoam. Now let's mix some plaster. I'm adding some brown acrylic paint into plaster to give it a mud-like color. So later on, when I paint on top of the plaster, even if I miss some spots, it will still look natural. Hey, it looks just like latte. Let me give it a try. Mm, delicious. Just kidding, please don't drink plaster. Plaster is not edible. Then I'm adding a little more black paint and dark brown to darken the color. Everyone welcome my little helper, my little pink fan, to help speed up the drying process. Two hours later. Hmm. Looks pretty good. Time to move on to next step. To paint the base, we need light brown, dark brown, black, and green. First, I'm mixing a little bit light brown, black, and green. And remember, mix it good. I'm mixing the color in different ratio to create a natural mossy rock look. After the paint is dry, it's time for the most exciting part, adding rocks and grass. I got some decorative sand, some small rocks, some pebbles I got from Michaels, and some backup small rocks just in case the sand is too small, but at the end, I didn't use it. I'm putting a stack of rock at the entrance, then adding some super glue so I can lay some sand on the path. Shake off the extra sand and repeat again.
Next, after the super glue dried, add some black wash on the rock and sand. About black wash, you can find a lot of tutorials online, but the way I make it is to mix black paint and a little bit of green paint into water, adjust the ratio to think is right, then finish it by adding a little bit dish soap. To add the moss effect, my trick is to use folk art dimensional moss effect. It comes with two parts, light and dark moss. First, paint the light moss part, scatter it around the base, and try to focus on the bottom and shadow area. Then, dab a little bit dark moss here and there on top of the light moss. Next, let's add some grass and vegetations. I don't have a scenery glue, so I'm replacing it with adhesive spray from Dollar Tree for static grass. And I also don't own a static applicator, so I'm replacing that with a pair of tweezers. But for better result, static applicator is recommended. I'm adding some light green color grass, then adding some dark green color grass to balance out the color. Next, let's give it some mixed greens. To start, I try to use school glue to glue on the grains. At first, it looked fine. However, so I decided to switch to super glue. I also got this super glue gel from Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of two. I decided to add some brown moss, look like this, at the bottom and corner of the cave to create the fact that roots are sticking out of the soil. Next step, let's cut out some tiny butterflies. I cut out some tiny little butterflies and I got this weird nylon horse tail looking thingy. I picked it up from a thrift store. It looks tough but fragile. If you know what that is, please leave your comment down below. This is very thin so the camera might not be able to capture it. I glued the butterfly on tip of the string. Ta-da! After putting Totoro in his sleeping spot, I'm decorating the butterflies around him.
adding more black wash to the greens to create some more contrast. Nice. Overall, this is a basic but super cute project. If you guys like this video or think this video is helpful, please give me a thumb up. And if you'd like to see more similar videos like this in the future, please subscribe. And if you have any more suggestions for my future video or project, please leave a comment down below. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.